Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you a product I got here called a GPS slope meter by Atul. It's their X95 model. Got it right here. And we are going to do something real quick here. You know, normally people do the unboxing of the product. Well, we're going to skip that part, right? You all know how to take it out of a box. Now, I got it already hooked up to a battery right here. You can see it functioning. I'm actually in the garage and I can still hook up to, what is that, 10 satellites. Yep, 10 out of 12 satellites hooked up. So that's doing really well. Now, if you're in a tunnel or, um, you know, maybe parking garage or something like that, you probably are going to lose some of your signal strength there, especially in a tunnel. But I uh, love the features that this thing's got. Uh, it does a slope meter, uh, miles per hour, your time travel, all kinds of stuff. Now this is the kind of a all general screen right here. It shows you your all your satellites that you got hooked up. It gives you their exact position where you're at. You know, uh, Walter White from Breaking Bad, he would have loved to have this when he buried that $80 million, huh? You know exactly where he put it. All right, and then uh, of course it gives you your clock, your speed, your altitude, direction, and the number of satellites, like I was saying before. All on that one screen right there. Then you can flip it from that screen. That's personally my favorite screen right there. Gives you your miles per hour, your, uh, your elevation, I like that. And then the time of day, all right there. And then there's your time, date, and your day on that screen right there. And then again, this one's your time, your, um, you can set your miles per hour, the time that has passed, and the distance you traveled. And then it shows also the voltage of the unit. Um, not sure why you even need that, but there it is. And there's your slope meter right there. And it, of course, gives you alarms once you hit anything above 40 degrees. Now it does come with the cigarette lighter adapter, which also has two USB ports on it. And then it simply attaches to the slope meter with a mini USB port. And then it also comes with a pigtail right here, so you can hardwire it straight to 12 volts and you want to use an ignition source 12 volts. You don't want it on all the time. So as soon as you turn on your ignition switch, it comes on. And it comes with an adapter. Oh, that's got to be at least two feet long. And then of course it comes with the directions on both sides here. And it gives you a real uh, easy to understand on how to operate this. Now one of the things you can also do with this, uh, you can change a lot of settings. Here, we're going to change the screen to here. Now, if you give it a long press, there you go, you go into the setting mode and you can change all these parameters. You got language, speed, speed alarm, and you give it a long press to go from one to the other. And probably the one that you're going to go to first is your clock adjustment. This does time in Zulu time or military time. And then the one that I like also to change is the uh, color of the screen. So I went ahead and changed to something that matches the actual instruments, my instrument cluster color. And then it also comes with two double-sided adhesive pieces of tape that you place on the bottom here and secure it to the top of your dash. Okay, we're going to install this in my 01 Dodge Dakota. And uh, we'll take it around town here and see what it does, all right? Okay, first you apply the adhesive to the bottom. Put it here on the dash. I like this type of dash where it's got that, where it dishes in like this. And that way this doesn't obstruct the view out here when you're driving. So it doesn't look bad at all. 
Now simply take your power adapter, plug it in. And it's going to take a moment for it to find the uh, satellites and hook up. And that's what the blinking red light is. Okay, it took just one minute to get it all hooked up to the satellites. As you can see, we're hooked up to nine of the 12 satellites. And we're heading west, now southwest, and then now south. Down at the bottom here is the time of day. And that is in Zulu time or military time. Up here we got the elevation at 1921 feet. This is my favorite screen, especially for just driving around town. It gives me all the information that I want. One thing nice about having this speedometer up here, uh, it's right there at a glance. I don't even have to look down at my gauges. And this is absolutely perfect. It's, I was able to check my own speedometer, and it's right on the money. All right, let's switch screens. Okay, and there's just the, gives you the date, your time of day, and the day of the week. This one gives you the time, your miles per hour, the time traveled, the distance traveled, and then the voltage coming into the unit. And there's your slope meter. This would be uh, good for leveling an RV. And then this is your over, your general one, giving your speed, your time, your altitude, direction, the number of satellites, and then your GPS location there at the bottom. All right, here we got the slope meter turned on. And I'm just going to break heavy here. And you're going to see it go into the red right there dove into about 50, 52 degrees. And uh, it's just kind of showing it's, it's a little on the sensitive side. It's, uh, you know, that's because of the G-forces. It's being constantly changing like that all the time. See there, it went into the red again. 53 degrees, I break kind of heavy. All right, I mounted it here in my 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now the front windshield is tinted and I just wanted to make sure that it works just as well with a tinted windshield as it does one without. Let's we'll see how long it takes to uh, hook up to the satellites. There you have it right there. Seemed about the same as usual. Now on the slope meter, the degrees that you see go up to 40 degrees for both ways. The alarms start at 30 degrees and then the actual digital reading goes clear up to 88 degrees. So get it right there. As you can see it climbing there and then it goes into red. Yeah, it starts flashing at you. You can see it's well into the 70s there. Um, the one thing I probably didn't like about the whole unit was just the fact that this slope meter is what I'd call a little oversensitive. Every time you slam on the brakes, get on the gas, it goes off. So uh, due to the G-forces. Um, that's the only thing I didn't like about it. Other than that, I really like all the other gauges on here, uh, you know, the exact location here, your GPS location, and this being my favorite screen, the miles per hour uh, with the altitude and what direction you're going. That one I'd find the most useful. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there and a little bell symbol right next to it, and that way you get notifications the next time I put out a video. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links in the description below where you find links like this and other products I have. 
out there and you can do all your Amazon shopping through one of those links and the channel earns a small commission that way. That really helps out the channel. And thanks again and we will see you on the next one.